Hi, my name is Tony Joyce. I'm a photographer. I've been using Google Plus for about two weeks now. And today I'd like to show you how to create these scrapbook images from a single image and have them consecutively run um, or split or sliced, however you want to call it. Um, these images are 125 pixels by 125 pixels. Um, you can have them any size you want um, so when people click on the image it can open up a much larger version but my feeling is that if you're going to show off an image you don't specifically want people to look at one-fifth of an image on its own so what I'm creating are images specifically for the scrapbook these are scrapbook images um, that are going to be consecutive images. So they're not going to be high resolution, large images. If you want to show off your work, obviously you can put whatever images in here and it will create a square thumbnail of that image. And when your uh, friends click on the image, it will then open up a larger version. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off in Photoshop. I've got a, an image here of Table Mountain in Cape Town. Uh, we used to live there some time ago. So it's an old image. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is you've got 125 pixels by 125 pixels of five images. So in essence, it's one image of 625 pixels width and 125 pixels height. So we're going to select what part of this image we want that to be. So using your crop tool and selecting those parameters, we can then drag the part of the image that we want to create the five separate images from. So you can just drag down to get the final image that you like, press enter, and there's your starting image. Just bring this up to 100%. The next thing to do is to slice the image. Now it took me a while to work out where the slice tool is. I'm not a web designer, so I don't really use it. But where the crop tool is, this is Photoshop CS5. If you right click on the crop tool, you can then see the slice tool and the slice select tool. The first thing we're going to do is use the slice tool. Now up here, the style of slicing we're going to do, I just want to run through these. Normal means that you can slice the image any dimension uh, that you want. Fit, fixed aspect ratio, you know, a one-to-one -one is going to give you a square image regardless of uh, it's not looking at the size of the image uh, how many pixels or the um, resolution it's just going to give you a square um, slice and the one that I'm going to use is fixed size so we know that the images are five separate images of 125 pixels each once you have that selected, you can go down here and as soon as you click on it, it will give you a square. And there you have one slice, one slice, 125 pixels by 125 pixels. The next thing we're going to do is go back to the slice tool, right click and then select slice select tool. And in essence, what that does enables you, if you hold down the option key and then drag the slice, it's actually making a copy. And see how nicely that, that snaps to it? Once you release the, the mouse, um, you'll have your second slice. But if you go to your view, make sure that you have snap to slices. That will ensure that you don't leave out any pixels in between your images. 
Okay, so we're going to do that again. I'll hold down the Option key, drag to the right, snap, let go, again, drag, snap. Okay, so there we have our five separate images and now what we have to do is just to go to File, Save for Web and we're going to, you can leave it as default, um, but the thing that you want to make sure that is selected is when you click Save, that it says slices all slices and all we're going to do is go and put it in a new folder save and what that's going to do is save the images in a subfolder called Cape Town and another subfolder called images and I guess that's because of the way um, websites work. They always put the images in a folder on their own. So the next thing we can do is go to Google Chrome. I use Chrome and <clears throat> click on your profile. And once you've got your profile you can then edit your profile and Right over here, we can add some photos. So we're going to click on Add Photo and then go to the Images folder where your slices were saved. Click on the first one and then click on the second one. And click on the third one. And so on. And last but not least, the last one. Then click OK. Done editing. And there you have it. You have your five consecutive images from one image that you can use on your Google Plus scrapbook. Thank you for watching.